안정현입니다. Welcome to Let's Speak Korean. I hope by now you're feeling that your Korean is improving every day. And some of you may even feel that the 15 minutes that we spend together are nearly enough. I know that Scott and Christine are just two of those people. Let's say hello. 안녕하세요. 안녕하세요. Scott입니다. 안녕하세요. Christine입니다. Scott, you already speak quite a bit of Korean, don't you? Do you feel that maybe Let's Speak Korean is a little too slow-paced for you? Oh, no. I've been looking for a review for quite a while, and mm -hmm. finally I've got a good chance to go back and learn properly some things I missed. Great. Mm -hmm. Christine, do you feel as though your Korean is improving as you had originally planned? Yeah, I do. I wanted to increase uh, my knowledge of sentences, mm -hmm. and my sentences are gradually becoming more complex. So. Excellent. Mm -hmm. What do you think would be the advantages of being able to speak Korean fluently? I think, well, definitely I can make more Korean friends, mm -hmm. even try to watch Korean movies, right. and just learn more about the Korean culture. Mm. What would you do, Scott, if you become more fluent in Korean than you already are? Well, it would probably make my work environment a lot easier. Mm -hmm. Some of the jobs I do are all Korean, so mm. it would make things much easier. Well, you two have been excellent students from day one, so I'm sure you're going to be able to do just that anytime soon. Hopefully. Okay, let's not forget to review what we learned last time. See if Christine remembers. Christine, what did we learn last time? Okay, it'll be tough. Um, we said, Ajim mm A, -hmm. Muwasul Hamnika. Mm -hmm. And an answer could be, Undong Ul Hamnida. Good, you remember. Oh, what else do you remember, Scott? Uh, we covered some time expressions. Mm -hmm. Starting at, in the morning, Achime and Naje. Mm -hmm. Lunch was Chomshime. Mm -hmm. And then we had Chonyok A mm -hmm. and Bame. Right. Okay. Now let's get on with today's lesson. Take a look at the next scene first. Huh. Hello, everyone. I came out to a health club today to try and get a little exercise and reduce some of my stress. Time to sweat. Good morning. Ah, good morning. 날마다 운동을 합니까? 날마다 운동을 합니까? 네, 날마다 운동을 합니다. 네, 날마다 운동을 합니다. See you again. 네, bye bye. Wow, good. 날마다 운동을 합니까? 날마다 운동을 합니까? 네. 날마다 운동을 합니다. 네. 날마다 운동을 합니다. Try. <웃음> much exercise it takes to be able to lift this thing all the time. Guess I better start working out a lot harder. Yes, Scott recently started working out in the mornings and maybe he was hoping for a little too much. You have to take your time, Scott, with these okay. things. Mm -hmm. It's the same thing with learning Korean. You have to take it one step at a time. All right, we heard that Let's Speak Korean sound. Christine, where was that? I think it was when the person said, Nal, Nal, Hada. Nal, Mada. Okay, Nal, Mada, Undong, Ul, Hamnika. That's exactly right. And the answer, Scott? Uh, ne, Nal, Mada, Undong, Ul, Hamnida. Right. Then, Scott, do you know what Nal, Mada means? I think it means every day. Every day, right. As Scott said, 날마다 is an adverb, which means every day. We already learned last time what 운동을 합니까 and 내 운동을 합니다 mean. So all we did was add 날마다. Right, let's practice with this word. Christine, you make a sentence with 날마다 공부 and 하다. Okay. 날마다 mm -hmm. 공부를 합니다. It's not 공부를, it's 공부를. Oh, 공부를 right. 합니다. Mm -hmm. We need particle 를 here instead of 을 because 공부 ends in a vowel. It's different from 운동, which ends in a consonant. Right then, Scott, try combining 날마다 with 밥 and 먹다. Okay, so 날마다, mm -hmm. 밥, 
을 mm -hmm. 먹습니다. Good. Christine, what else can we say using 날마다? Something that you do every day? Okay. Um, 날마다 mm -hmm. 한국가 mm -hmm. um, what's uh, come study? 공부. 공부를 mm -hmm. 합니다. Good. You study Korean every day. And Scott? Uh, okay. How about 날마다 신문을 봅니다? Well done. Now let's listen to some native speakers for more examples. 빵. 날마다 빵을 먹습니까? 네, 날마다 빵을 먹습니다. 음악. 날마다 음악을 듣습니까? 네, 날마다 음악을 듣습니다. 신문. 날마다 신문을 읽습니까? 네, 날마다 신문을 읽습니다. As you've seen, 빵 is used with 먹다, do you eat bread, 음악 with 듣다, you listen to music, and 신문 with 읽다 or 보다, you read the papers, right? Okay, now let's talk about some other words that are similar to 날마다. 매일 is another word which means 날마다, so it would be every day or daily. We have word, other words like 매주, which means every week or weekly, 매달, every month or monthly, and 매년, every year or yearly. Okay, let's see if I've made myself clear. Christine, tell me in Korean something that you do 매일. 매일, mm -hmm. every day. Mm -hmm. So 매일 밥을 mm -hmm. 먹습니다. You eat rice every day, Christine? Yes, really? I do. Wow. Is there a difference between Canadian rice and Korean rice? Yes, Korean rice has a sticky texture, mm. whereas Canadian rice doesn't. Mm. What do you eat with rice in Korea? Actually, I don't eat rice with anything. Eat it by, by yeah. itself? Yeah, Still eat it good? plain. It's delicious. Really? Yeah, actually mm. I eat rice every day, at least once a day, even in Canada. Wow. Scott, what do you usually eat at meal times in Korea? Uh, <laughs> to be honest, I usually eat whatever gets delivered the fastest. Ah. Pick up the phone, dial the number. <laughs> See what I get. I see. Are there any Korean dishes that you can make on your own? Um, <laughs> I can make some killer ramen. Oh, ramen. I can make that too. Uh, okay. So it's pretty easy <laughs> it to make. Looks like actually. ramen has gone international, right. huh? <laughs> mm. Okay, now let's get back to where we were. We were just talking about words like daily, weekly, monthly, yearly, right? Okay, then, Scott, what are some things that you do? Meju. Okay, meju would be every week. Mm -hmm. So, meju, kyoheru. Mm -hmm. Kyohe to church would be Kyohe. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, Kyohe e e kamnida. You go to church every week. Mm -hmm. Sometimes. Right. <laughs> Kyohe means church. Okay. Now let's take a look at focus in to see how these examples are used in sentences. Nalmada <laughs> pangul moksumika. 네, 날마다 빵을 먹습니다. 매주 영화를 봅니까? 네, 매주 영화를 봅니다. 매달 산에 가십니까? 네, 매달 산에 갑니다. 매년 바다에 가십니까? 네, 매년 바다에 갑니다. Okay, time to practice with pictures this time. Let's take a look at this first picture here. Here we have bread, which is 빵 in Korean, and then the verb 먹다, which means to eat. Then, Christine, give me a sentence. How do you say, I am eating bread? Okay, I would say 빵을 mm -hmm. 먹습니다. Good. Repeat this time. 빵을 먹습니다. 빵을 먹습니다. Good. The second picture then, Scott. Here we have uh, music, I guess. This would be. Okay. There's some musical scores and uh, violin. So music, umak, mm -hmm. and then tita to listen to, listen. right? Okay. okay so Give me a sentence. Um, umak ul mm -hmm. Good again. Repeat. Umak ul tutsumnida. Umak ul Okay. The last picture. Christine again. Here we have some papers. Chinmun. And then ikta to read. Okay. Uh, Shinmun ul mm -hmm. iksumnida. Okay. Repeat this time. Shinmun ul iksumnida. Shinmun ul iksumnida. Well done. 
A lot of what we did today was a review of what we went over last time, so hope it wasn't too difficult for you. Now it's time to go to Vivian for today's alphabet lesson. Let's go see what she has planned for us today. Hello, I'm Vivian Kwan. Have you ever faced a difficult situation because you didn't know Hangul? Well, I'm sure you probably have. For instance, did you ever get lost because you couldn't read the road sign? Or did you have a difficulty figuring out which bus to take to get to a certain place? Well, let's take a look at some of those signs today. First, let's get out on the road. If you're driving, you need to know which way to go, and road signs can come in quite handy for you. First, let's look at the sign at a cross section. Well, where would I be headed if I went straight? Can you read this? Good. Guamgongwon and Yangcheonggil. So if I go straight from here, I'll be headed towards Guamgongwon and Yangcheonggil. Let's see another sign. How about this one? Can you read this one? If you turn left here, you're headed towards Hogongdong. And if you turn right, you're going to Sosomun. And if you go straight, you'll get to Hangangdaegyo and Namdaemun. Well, this time, Let's go to a bus stop. At the bus stop, you can see a sign that tells you the bus numbers and their destinations. Let's see here. How about the number 601 bus? Where is it headed? It goes to Kimpo Gonghang. And the number 588 bus is going to Hagokdong. If you're going to take the bus, make sure you read this sign so you won't make a mistake. Well, what's next? You see a lot of store signs, right? Well, what's this one? This is a yakguk, a pharmacy. Remember this to buy any medicine or first aids. And this is a hanui one. Here, you can get treated with Chinese herbal medicine or acupuncture when you're sick. Well, how was that? Now do you feel better about going out on the road? Well, try reading the road and store signs as you go around in Korea. They can make a good practice material for you. Okay, next time I prepared a fun game for you to play. So don't forget to join us. Bye-bye. Thanks, Vivian. By the way, Christine, do you know how many letters there are in the Korean alphabet? I know that there's 26 in English, but... But, Scott, do you? Well, there, it's changed. There was originally, what, 28, and mm -hmm. now there's 25, 24? Exactly. Okay. Got it now, Christine? Yes, I do. All right. It's time for a quick review and a goodbye. Christine, answer my question. 날마다 운동을 합니까? 네, 날마다... 운동을 mm -hmm. 합니다. Good, Scott. 날마다 무엇을 합니까? Ah, no problem. 날마다 let's speak Korean 을 봅니다. Good for you. <laughs> Hope you do the same at home. Keep practicing and we'll be back next time. 안녕히 계세요. 안녕히 계세요.